good morning students today we are going to read another story from your moments book that is a house is not a home written by zan gudias now here in the chapter's name you can see two terms house as well as home now what is the difference between house and home a house is generally made up of concrete walls but home home where we find emotional bonding between the family where the family has an emotional attachment the bonding between the family members that is home so this story reflects the challenges of being a teenager and the problems of growing up how a teenager faces problem in his or her life and how does the author zan gudias overcome his problems so the story the story gives us a message that a happy home is very much essential for us you know and the people come forward to help us in times of difficulty here we'll see how uh, the author how how she how she was very much very much depressed when her house was burned remember her house got into fire her house got fire and the whole house was burnt over nothing was left over there so she was very much depressed and uh, how the friends and the other members helped at the time of difficulty so the story is all about how an emotional love how a happy home is essential for us so let's start my first year of high school felt awkward awkward means strange after leaving junior high at the head of my class with all the seniority the upper grade levels could afford me it felt strange starting over as a freshman freshman means the freshers going to a new place as a student and we are freshers to them so the school was twice as big as my old school and to make matters worse my closest friends were sent to a different high school i felt very isolated isolated means very much lonely i felt very lonely over there i missed my old teachers so much that i would go back and visit them they would encourage me to get involved in school activities so that i could meet new people they told me that in time i would add just and probably end my loving end up loving my new school more than i had my old one so they encouraged me to get involved in school activities so the teachers encouraged encouraged her that go and indulge yourself you know go and indulge yourself in the co-curricular extra co-curricular activities so that you may know more and more friends more and more people so they would also know you and you will be friends and i would at just probably end up loving my new school more than i had my old one and they tell when you and they told that the old teachers told her that when you will end up when you will end up the new school that will be more lovable as compared to this one they made me promise that that when that happened when that happened means that happened when he when she when the author when she start loving when she starts loving the new school more as compared to the old one then also she will come and visit us i understood the psychology in what they were saying but i took some comfort in it nonetheless so she understood the psychology of the teachers that i should they are trying to intermingle me they are trying to me, convey me 
they are trying to convey me that i should uh, go and in my new school and indulge over the friends intermingle with new friends so that i can make new friends one sunday afternoon what happened not after not long after i had started high school i was sitting at home at a dining room table doing homework it was as a, a cold and windy fall day as we are facing now in azaribag and we had a fire going in our fireplace as usual my red tabby cat remember this this is also a very important character of the story red tabby cat was lying on top of all my papers purring loudly and occasionally sweating at my pen for entertainment sake purring is making noise by the cats and occasionally sweating sweating means hitting at my pen just for she was that cat was playing with her she was never far from me i had rescued her when she was a kitten and somehow she knew that i was the one responsible for giving her the good life so the cat also knew that the comfortable life was she was where she was living so she was responsible the author was responsible for that so the cat also loved very much my mother kept stoking the fire to keep the house nice and warm stoking stoking means you say if we if we if we burn the woods hai na like bone fires and we sit around just to keep ourselves warm we have to keep stoking the fire firewoods na lakdi ko bar bar wahan pe dalte rehna padta hai taki aag jalta rahe as you can see in the picture here and suddenly i smell something strange and then i noticed it smoke pouring in through the seams of the ceiling the smoke began to fill the room so quickly that we could barely see itna zyada smoke bhar gaya that we couldn't see a groping our way to the front door we all ran out into the front yard by the time we were made our way outside the whole roof was engulfed in flames and it was spreading quickly the whole house was engulfed in fire pure ghar ko aag pakad chuka tha matlab jagad chuka tha i ran to the neighbors to call the fire department while i watched my mother run back into the house my mother ran out of the house carrying a small metal box full of important documents so that the documents could be kept safe so that they are not burnt in that fire she dropped the case on the lawn and in great state ran back into the house again she dropped that metal case out of the house and again she went inside the house i knew what she was after daughter knew zan gudia so she knew what she was after kya lane gayi hai wo she knew my father had died when i was young so her father died when she was very much young she was very young and i was certain that she was not going to let his pictures and letters go up in the flames they were the only things that she had to remember him by still i screamed at her mom no so she knew ki wahi ek picture jo tha papa ka sirf wahi bacha hua tha so she couldn't let her, let that pictures go out, out in the flames burn in those flames still i screamed at her mom no i was about to run after her when i felt a large hand hold me back it was a fireman so the fireman hold her arms i hadn't even noticed that the street had already filled with fire trucks i was lying to free myself from his grasp yelling you don't understand my mother is in there she is trying to convey she is trying to convince the fireman ki meri mummy andar mein let me go he held on to me while the other firefighters ran in the house he knew that i wasn't acting very logically and that if he were to let go i'll run i would have run he was right it's all right they'll get her he said the fireman said don't worry the fireman those who are those who have gone inside they will get your mom he wrapped a blanket around me and sat me down in our car soon after that a fireman emerged from a house with my mom in a tow so tow tow means motasa rassi jaisa kuch he quickly took over 
to the truck and put an oxygen mask on her, on my mother. I ran over and hugged her. All those times I ever argued with her and hated her vanished at the thought of losing her. You can just imagine that we also sometimes you know, fight with a not exactly fight but argue with our parents, mothers, fathers or even the elders. You know. But as soon as as soon as जब हम मेरे दिमाग में आता है कि अब हम इनको खो देंगे all those things vanishes away. है ना So here also the same thing happened with the author. She is going to be okay said the fireman. She has just inhaled a little smoke. She will be okay. She will be fine. And then he ran back to fight the fire while my mother and I sat there with dazed. Dazed means quite thoda in a dizzy manner. Hai na? Thoda behoshi jaise halat mein. I remembered watching my house burn down and thinking that there was nothing I could do about it. Five hours later, five hours it took. Five hours they were sitting there and they were seeing the house that was burning. The fire was finally out after five hours. Our house was almost completely burnt down. But then it struck me I hadn't seen my cat, that red tabby cat, the most loved cat. Where was my cat? Much to my horror, I realized that she was nowhere to be found. Then all at once it hit me. The new school, the fire, my cat. I broke down in tears and cried and cried. I was suffering loss big time. Everything she was losing. New school, she had no friends. She missed her old teachers. She was... Now her house also is burnt. And her cat also is gone. So she is... She is... She is suffering. She is suffering from a great depression. Everything she was losing. Everything. The fireman wouldn't let us go back into the house that night. It was still too dangerous. Dead or alive, I couldn't imagine leaving without knowing about my cat. Regardless, I had to go. He, she had to go. So we piled into the car with just the clothes on our backs and a few of the fireman's blankets and made our way to the grandparents' house to spend the night. The next day, Monday, I went to school. When the fire broke out, I was still wearing the dress. I had to. I had worn to church that morning. Church that morning, but I had no shoes. I had kicked them off when I was doing my homework. And the shoes also was burned inside the house. They became yet another casualty of the fire. That was also burned. So I had to borrow some tennis shoes from my aunt. Why couldn't I just stay home from school? My mother wouldn't hear of it. But I was totally embarrassed by everything. The clothes I was wearing looked weird. I had no books or homework. My backpack was gone. I had life in that backpack. So in, the, in her bag, everything, the whole life, the life means study materials. The more I tried to fit in, the worse it got. Was I destined to be an outcast and a geek all my life? Geek means an unfashionable, unfashionable person or who is not socially fit. You know, the, and the people or the, the neighbors don't like such kind of people. That's what it felt like. I did not want to grow up change or have to handle life if it was going to be this way. I just wanted to curl up and die. She, the author, Zan Gudiasu, she just wanted to die because everything she was losing in her life, nothing was going for him, for her. Everything was going against her. I walked around school like a zombie. No one was talking. She was all alone. Everything felt surreal. Everything was, everything was looking so real as I wasn't sure what was going to happen. All the security I had known from my old school, my friends, my house and my cat had all been ripped away. Everything gone away. When I walked through what used to be my house, 
now it's not after school that day i was shocked to see how much damage there was whatever hadn't burned was destroyed by the water and the chemicals they had used to put out the fire so everything was destroyed nothing was left over there the only material thing not destroyed were the photo albums documents and some other personal items that my mother had managed to heroically rescue heroically means hero ki tarah na jaan se khel kar and she had done that but my cat was gone and my heart ached for her she was feeling for her there was no time to grieve ab udaas hone ka samay nahi tha my mother rushed me out of the house we would have to find a place to live and i would have to go buy some clothes for school we had to borrow money from my grandparents because there were no credit cards cash or even any identification to be able to withdraw money from the bank nothing was left everything was burnt up everything had gone up in smoke that week the rubble the rubble means the burnt over wo jalne ke baad jo bach jata hai malwa jisko bolte hai na that used to be our house was being cleared off the lot even though we had rented an apartment nearby i would go over to watch them clear away debris debris is the same as rubble wo jo jala hua jo bacha kucha tha usko jab wo le ja rahe the hoping that my cat was somewhere to be found so she was hoping ki abhi bhi meri billi jo hai my red uh, orange tabby cat is still over there and i kept thinking about her as that vulnerable little kitten in the early morning when i would disturb her and get out of bed she would tag along after me climb up my robe and crawl into my pocket to fall asleep i was missing her terribly so she was the beloved and she was very much loved by the author and now she is gone so she is missing her it always seems that a bad news spreads quickly and in my case it was no different so this news was spread over everyone in high school including the teachers was aware of my plight plight me the condition that she is suffering and durdasha jo tha iska i was embarrassed as if somehow i were responsible what a way to start off at a new school she was very much sad see here an exclamation mark is used here so what a way to start off at a new school this was not the kind of attention i was looking for the next day at school people were acting even more strange than usual i was getting ready for gym class at my locker people were milling around me they were just gathering around her asking me to hurry up they were asking her to be hurry, hurry up jaldi karo i thought it strange but in the light of the past few weeks nothing would surprise me abhi jo past kuch weeks se mere sath ho raha tha ab kuch waisa surprise mere man mein raha nahi bacha nahi it almost seemed that they were trying to shove me into the gym aisa lag raha tha they they just want to push me into the gym gym mein aise dhakel kar humko le jana chahte the then i saw why aur ab pata chala author ko ki why they are pushing me why they are behaving so strange there was a big table set with all kinds of stuff on it just for me they had taken up a collection and bought me school supplies notebooks all kinds of different clothes jeans tops sweatsuits everything it was like a christmas for me it was like a christmas for me now she is feeling that the friends are also helping she had friends she was not knowing they 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 are willingly helping her i was overcome by emotion people who had never spoken to me before were coming up to introduce themselves i got all kinds of invitation to their houses their genuine outpouring of concern really touched me in that instant i finally breathed a sigh of relief sigh of relief rahat ki saans li and thought for the first time that things were going to be okay i made friends that day and this is the problem of teenagers hai na some of the teenagers they don't 
they they don't they don't intermingle with each other but they do have feelings so here the rest of the students or rest of the fellow mates came up and just just they made they made uh, uh, they came out with the helping hands they helped her. and this was a very touchy moment a heart touching moment for her a month later it was i was at my house watching them rebuild it but this time it was different i wasn't alone i was with two of my new friends from school it took a fire for me to stop focusing on my feelings of insecurity insecurity and open up to all the wonderful people around me it took a fire for me while while i was feeling insecure in the new school ek aag lagne ke baad humko pata chala ki no i am not insecure they are my friends now i was sitting there watching my house being rebuilt when i realized my life was doing the same thing means the house was also rebuilt and his life was also her life was also rebuilt she was also getting back the friendship getting back the love from their friends and the kind of support we need from our fellow mates while we sat there on the curb planning my new bedroom i heard someone walk up to me from behind and say does this belong to you when i turned around to so- see who it was i couldn't believe my eyes a woman was standing there holding my cat how happy she was holding my cat exclamation mark sudden happiness i leapt up and grabbed her out of the woman's arms and she was very happy she was very happy i held her close to me and cried into that beautiful orange fur orange fur is referred to that cat's fur she purred happily purring means the noise made by the cat my friends were hugging me hugging the cat and jumping around all were supporting her apparently my cat had been so freaked so freaked by the fire that she ran over a mile away wo aag se itna dar gayi thi that she ran away a mile away her caller had a phone number on it uske caller pe mera phone number likha hota but our phones had been destroyed and disconnected this wonderful woman took her in and worked hard to find out who scat it was somehow she knew this cat was loved and sorely missed as i sat there with my friends and my cat curled up in my lap all the overwhelming feelings the extra feelings and the overwhelming desire the fantasy feelings of my loss and tragedy seemed to diminish अब वो जो लॉस और ट्रेजिडी का जो फीलिंग्स था वो धीरे धीरे कम हो रहा था एंड द ओवरवेलमिंग डिजायर द ट्रू हैप्पीनेस वाज कमिंग इन माय लाइफ आई फेल्ट ग्रैटिट्यूड फॉर माय लाइफ माय न्यू फ्रेंड्स एंड द काइंडनेस ऑफ अ स्ट्रेंजर द लाउड पर ऑफ माय बिलवेड कैट एंड द साउंड ऑफ मेड बाय माय लवेड कैट माय कैट वाज बैक एंड सो वाज आई माय कैट वाज बैक एंड सो वाज आई आई वाज आल्सो बैक टू माय रियल लाइफ where i was feeling insecure so this is how some of the teenagers feel this is how some of the teenagers feel that i am insecure in my life i can't make new friends here the author also was feeling the same way but the fellow mates from the new school the companions from the new school came up with the helping hands and she was very much touched by that behavior okay thank you students so this is all about a house is not a home so even if a house is burnt and a home was there because the feelings that she was getting with her friends the support the kind of support that she was getting that was feeling like a home so then live class will deal about this okay thank you